The water in fuel indicator light will illuminate when there is water detected in the fuel water separator filters. If this light remains on, do not start the vehicle before you drain the water from the fuel water separator filters. If water is detected in the fuel water separator filters while the engine is running or while the key is in the on position, the water in fuel indicator light will illuminate and an audible chime will be heard five times. At this point, you should stop the engine and drain the water from the fuel water separators. There are two fuel filter assemblies. One is located on the driver's side of the engine. The best access to this water drain valve is from under the hood. The second one is on the underbody, located in front of the rear axle above the drive shaft on pickup models. The chassis cab model's second filter location is on the frame behind the front axle. The best access to these water drain valves is from under the vehicle. Now to drain the fuel water separator filters when the water in fuel indicator light is on, within 10 minutes of turning the engine off, turn the engine mounted filter drain valve located on the side of the filter housing counterclockwise one quarter turn to drain water that may have accumulated. Turn the underbody mounted filter drain valve located on the bottom of the filter housing counterclockwise one quarter turn to drain water that may have accumulated in this filter. You'll need to turn the ignition switch to the on position and allow any accumulated water to drain. Leave the drain valve open until all water and contaminants have been removed. When clean fuel is visible, close the drain valve by turning it clockwise and turn the ignition switch to off. Please refer to the Owner's Information Diesel Supplement on the Owner's Information DVD or ramtrucks.com slash en slash owners slash manuals for complete details and other important safety information.